Hi and welcome back. Up to now we learned from where and how to download Primavera, how to install it, how to uninstall Primavera and how to reinstall Primavera. From now onwards we are going to learn how to plan a project using Primavera. In this session I will be giving you an introduction to Primavera basics. So let's get started by a little history of Primavera. There are many project management and planning software available now. But Primavera is the world's number one most using internationally accepted project management and planning software. Initially Primavera was launched by a company named Primavera Systems Inc. on 1983. At that time Primavera was known as Primavera P3. Later on 2007, Primavera P6 was released. On 2008, Oracle acquired Primavera. After Oracle acquiring Primavera, many P6 versions were released. Primavera is constantly improving by removing bugs and adding new features through all these versions. Still now, Primavera is commonly known as Primavera P6. The latest version now is P6 16.2 which I used throughout this course. Okay. Now let's open Primavera and get familiar with its windows. For that let's go to Oracle area. Okay, this one. Second one Primavera Professional 16.2. Let's open it. We need to enter here password. Password is admin. Now here we can see the database PMDB. This is the area where we store all the data which we enter in Primavera. Okay, this is the area where all the data stores. Now, the PMD full form is Project Management Database. Okay, now let's log in. Okay, Primavera is open now. Now, this window is called as Project Window. We can see here Project. So, this is called as Project Window. Now in your system if you are not seeing this window go to enterprise and select projects it will open the project window. Now let's learn each parts of this window. This area is called as table area. This is where we enter most of the data in Primavera. It's like excel with lots of rows and columns. Ok next this is time scale area or bar chart area or Gantt chart area. This is where bars will appear. Based on the data which we enter here in table area, bars or Gantt charts will be creating here. Okay. We will learn more about this during our upcoming sessions. Okay. Let's move to next area, this bottom bar. This is called details area. Okay. Details area. Details of every data entering here in table area are entered in details area. So this is the area for setting details of table area data. Now don't worry or confuse by hearing all these names and all. You don't need to remember all these. You will automatically learn these things when we start our main sessions. Okay. Next this area, this left side bar here and the right side bar here and the top bar here. These all are called toolbars. These toolbars contain shortcuts for accessing tools and windows. This topmost part is called as menu bar where we can access different menus. This is commonly seen in all softwares. Now this part written as Primavera P6 Professional 16.2. This part is called as title bar. Okay. Now all these names, the title bar, menu bar, toolbar, table area, details, window, timescale area, these all names are not important and don't need to remember anything. Those we will learn while we start our main sessions. You will automatically learn all those things. Now this boundary separating these two parts. We can move this boundary by simply placing mouse on top of the boundary then left click it then drag to the position where we want to place it like this. There are many windows in Primavera. In all those windows we can find boundaries like this which we can move according to our requirement. So again I am saying you don't need to remember or confuse by seeing all these things. You will automatically learn these things when we start our main sessions. This is just an introduction. Okay. 
Now let's close Primavera. We can close Primavera using two methods. First one, it's same as any other software. Just click this close button. Okay. Next method is go to file menu. Here we can see this option exit. Okay. So let's select that one exit. And are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Select S. Yes. It will close Primavera. If you have any doubts in this session, let me know.